Hey traders, Money Badger here, and I'd like to welcome you back to Badger Trading University. If you haven't already joined the BTU Discord, click the link in the video description below. In our previous video, we gained an understanding of the Relative Strength Index, or RSI. In this video, we will take a look at another momentum indicator, the Stochastic Oscillator, which unlike the RSI, is much more effective in a ranging or sideways market. As a leading indicator, the Stochastic Oscillator illustrates the location of an asset's closing price relative to the asset's highs and lows over a set number of periods. In theory, price will typically close near the high during an uptrend and near the low during a downtrend. As seen here, the Stochastic Oscillator consists of an indicator or percentage K line and a signal or percentage D line, both ranging between 0 and 100. The indicator or percentage K line is calculated by dividing the difference of the most recent closing price minus the lowest price traded over the previous 14 trading sessions by the difference of the highest price and closing price over the same 14 trading sessions, then multiplied by 100. The signal or percentage D line is the three period simple moving average or SMA of the percentage K. When an asset decreases rapidly over a short period of time, the stochastic may reach a value of 20 or below and is considered to be oversold. And when an asset increases rapidly over a short period of time, the stochastic may reach a value of 80 or above and is considered to be overbought. Notice that these values for overbought and oversold conditions differ from the values we used on the RSI, which were 30 and 70. When both the indicator and signal line cross below 20 into oversold territory and then the indicator line crosses above the signal line, a potential buy signal is produced. And when the indicator and signal line cross above 80 into overbought territory and then the indicator line crosses below the signal line, a potential sell signal is produced. Let's take a closer look at two strategies that traders often implement in order to identify potential trend reversals. The first strategy is to identify divergences between an asset's price action and the stochastic, which indicates weakening momentum. A bullish divergence occurs as an asset's price creates lower lows while the stochastic creates higher lows. A bearish divergence occurs as an asset's price creates higher highs while the stochastic creates lower highs. Traders may want to wait for confirmation, which occurs with a breakout from either the support or resistance on the price chart or a breakout above or below 50 on the stochastic. The second strategy includes identifying bull and bear setups, which are basically the inverse of bullish and bearish divergences. A bull setup occurs when price records lower highs, but the stochastic records higher highs. The setup then results in a dip in price, which can be seen as a bullish entry point before price rises. A bear setup, on the other hand, occurs when price records higher lows, but the stochastic records lower lows. The setup then results in a bounce in price, which can be seen as a bearish entry point for shorting or selling an asset before price falls. As always, I would like to remind you that it is important to understand that technical indicators are not meant to be used as standalone indicators when making trading decisions. Trading with confluence and stacking elevating factors can strengthen your risk management and prevent entering or exiting a bad trade based on false signals. Always look for multiple signals to support each of your trading decisions. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video and learned something new, please like, subscribe, and join our Discord by clicking the link in the video description below.